Okay, we're going to try this all again. I've been having problems with my iPad, and I've been having problems with my computer, and I apologize. Hi, this is Sandy, the Sunroom Stitcher. It's the 28th of January. It's Saturday. It's 1020. I'm getting ready to um, run, run around town, and... Um, Orange at church, and so I thought I would get this uh, knocked out uh, before I left. And um, it's beautiful, sunny, um, sunny blue skies, uh, but cold outside. And it's been a couple of weeks since my, my my last video. I have been stitching, which I'll show you. Um, but I do have uh, six new subscribers, and I want to give them all a shout out. And the first um, is Obsessed Stitcher. Hi, Obsessed Stitcher. Welcome to my sunroom, but this is my happy room. Uh, it's too cold out there to, to do this. I can't wait for spring. Um, then we have Lissa B. Hi, Lissa. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Karen Monick. Hi, Karen. If I butchered your last name, I apologize. And Louise Fox. Hello, Louise. And Mary Coudre. Hi, Mary. And Tatiana22455. Hi, Tatiana. Thank you so much. You've got a beautiful name. So, now that those uh, acknowledgments are are out there. Um, let me share with you my finish. And that is, you don't need to see the back, although I can show it. Um, snowflakes are like, or snowflakes are kisses from heaven. And I absolutely love it. I did have fun stitching it. And I'm going to believe I'm going to make a flat fold out of it. Um, so it's something that I have a book by Judy O'Dell about making a flat fold. A uh, tutorial on how to do a flat fold. And I know that there's um, tutorials out on uh, the internet. But I thought that that would be... Nice, because I could take it down and put it up, but, you know, framing costs so much money. Then, when I got done with that, I um, pulled out and started on. Hold on just a second here. Oh, heck, there we go. My Mirabilia Cherub. Well, she looks very foggy. Why does she look foggy? She's so pretty. She gets prettier all the time with every stitch I put in there. Now, um, I did wash the fabric, or I did wash this before I started on it again because there was a big yellow stain from when my husband had moved it and set it on top of a sponge I use a sponge to dampen and straighten my threads and I guess the water wicked into the or the moisture wicked into the um, fabric and um, I guess it stained it and it was I was disgusted, but I thought, ah, it'll come out. Well, that was a big mistake, because even though I washed it, there's still a little stain there, and it bothers me. So I went in search of um, something to help take the stain out, and um, the only thing that I found um, was something called restorative or re restoration wash, and... Um, they were out of it at Nordic Needle, so I'm on the I'm on the wait list for it, and um, yeah, it won't ever do that again. That prompted me to order some natural sponges. I don't know if you re uh, since I'm old, I remember when Revlon had a cos natural cosmetic sponge. 
and they would come in little packages. Um, just one sponge. Um, I found some on Amazon. You get 12 of them for ten dollars and they're like one to one and a half inches in diameter and that's plenty big plenty big so those were supposed to come yesterday and they didn't so I'm hoping that they'll come today but I've learned my lesson if I get a stain on my fabric from now on I'm gonna wash my fabric right away now I'm gonna wait until the end to do her beading Especially if, um, since I want to do that uh, wash on her to get that stain out. So, I'm having fun working on her. And um, the next thing that I am uh, I want to do is pick up my day nymph. My Mirabilia day nymph when I get done with my cherub. Um... And, but before I do that, I want to stitch a Christmas ornament. I promised Della that I would stitch her a Christmas ornament for each of her grandchildren that she could hang on her tree. And uh, on the front, of course, would be the design. On, on the back, I wanted to stitch uh, each of her ch grandchildren's names. And that way, someday, she may want to give those away to whoever's name's on it. So, um... But I figured the way I stitch, mm -hmm. something that might only take a day will take me a week. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, also, I um, saw a tutorial online on how to make a pin cushion out of a teacup. So, on my last visit to the thrift shop, I found um, several teacups, but one in particular I liked. It had some ugly plastic flowers in it, but it was uh, like pink, or not pink, blue, or uh, purple posies, and it's just a little tiny, tiny one um, with a saucer. So, um, I got it, and I got uh, some inexpensive ones. They were like 50 cents a piece or something. I thought I could make these um, as uh, gifts. So, um, that is on my agenda. I have so many plans and not as much energy. <laughs> not the energy. I need to do everything. And um, I did find... I had wanted, I had considered buying um, Death by Cross Stitch. And then I figured out how much floss I would need, and the floss that I wanted to use would be like $200. So, what well, I just could not do that. I, even if I was working, I couldn't do that. I, I just, that's a lot of money. So I thought, well, I'll go. I know I have Long Dog's um, Ten Commandments. So I did find it downstairs. It is much smaller, <laughs> and I can still do it in the in the um, Gentle Arts Creek bed. And um, I'll figure out how i um, how much. Floss I need, it'll be, let's see, the design will be like 15 by 18 and a half, so that's not too bad. And I'm going to do it all in one color. And on the back of this chart, it tells you the length that you need. So I was just going to add up the lengths and then uh, figure out. I don't know if those are meters or I'll have to um, contact Julia and figure it out. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to do it in one color rather than all of these colors. So excited about that one. 
I did make a trip to CC and Company because they had sent me an email and said that my kit was in. And actually, it's not a kit because it's only got the design and the fabric in it. Um, but it, oh, it, and it does have the um, button in here and some metallic floss. But there's a coupon in here. When you finish it, you take it up there and they will bring this coupon in with your finished cross stitch and receive a free finishing as a stand-up. So, but I think she's really cute. Rosie and me, which Rosie is, um, the name of a Scotty dog. This cat was one of Kathy's dogs. Who is the owner? So that is why I went up there and then I bought Yeah, that would look like me in a bikini, huh? <laughs> Maybe not so attractive as that. But I had wanted to do the uh, Lottie Dodge Three Pumpkins, and I didn't really want to do it in black. Um, I was really hoping that I could find, like, a black that had a red, tid, red cast to it. And I didn't see anything there. Um, but I picked up two different Veldonis that... I don't know if this will help or not. Um, no, because you really can't see the difference in the two of them. And this one has got a brown. Let's, let's turn that down. Brown. Shades of brown. And this one is... Wait a minute. This one has shades of green in it. This one has shades of brown and black in it. But I thought... I still haven't decided yet. I keep waffling between the two of them. This one's called... Um, aged Black. And this one's called... Ebony Almond. So... I think maybe I will do it in this... Um, one. I don't know. I keep waffling between the two. Um, I also bought some different colors of floss that I found pretty. I also replaced my my works my weeks moss that I had used up in um, the uh, snowflakes. But I I found some. Pretty, pretty colors. This one I had sort of thought, too, about. Um, for the uh, pumpkin. And it's called Mermaid Fin. And it's by Crescent Colors. Well, I guess it's not Crescent Colors anymore. But it's a deep blue. You can see it there. Isn't that pretty? But it's actually darker than that. But then I thought for a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know. So, I got those, all those pretty colors, and then I purchased this one by, um, with, the ne with Thy Needle? No. Yeah, With Thy Needle. I love that. And I got the um, Veldani that I need and the uh, fabric, or the other floss. It's a beautiful color, really. Beautiful colors. So, and this one's called, oh, that's Wood Rose. But, It'll be real pretty. 
home is where our story begins. Like that. I also ran across a uh, Blackbird Designs book, Sweet Land of Liberty. I like that. There are a couple of things I really, really liked. Mm. Oh, I tell you what, this lighting is stinks. Oh, I got this too. I like this because it'll plug directly into my computer, but you can also take four AA batteries and one, two, three. And I oh, can't see that because, but it throws a white light, not a yellow light, and Help or hurt. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, I really like this. And the bird looks striped. But I love, love, love the colors. And it's oak. This is the one I really like. Pink sand and graphite. Those are the only three colors that are in this. And I absolutely love it. But also, there is a pin cushion. And as I was looking on that, I had, I, I went, duh. But I like that pin cushion. And it's. So there. That's a candle stand. And I thought, wow, I like that. So I got the book for two of those designs. There's other designs in there, but those are my favorites. And I also purchased. the tavern signs and I wanted to stitch this one up here but instead of using um, I wanted to use pinks because you know pink is my favorite color and my second favorite color <laughs> and then this I ordered uh, from uh, Sandra Sullivan's um, Etsy uh, online Etsy shop this one I love this to stitch is bliss I love that and then I ordered this one family makes me happy friends make me happy or stitching makes me happy I love those hearts So, I also joined the early stitchers clubs by the primitive hair and my um, I should be getting a package from her let's see here Um, hello, my dear friend. Welcome. Stitching, uh, subscribing this club, you will now have the chance to learn skills, new techniques, old tricks, get patterns, materials, become a family, be part of something cozy and lovely. I want to create a club or family of adventurous stitchers in the name of stitching. During my retreats, I learned how inspiring it is to stay together and help this ancient art 
to survive. Women stitch, have stitched since thousands of years ago. We are the last stitchers. Generation after generation, this art lost followers. I want to create this club year after year to help stitchers from all over the world gather together at the moment only virtually, but who knows? Maybe in the future also fiscally. This club will change year after year, will grow, and hopefully you will all have a chance to enrich your own ideas. Then she sent a pattern, and um, it's a logo, which is this logo, but without the bunny. And this is the logo. Um, and we're supposed to stitch it. And she's going to send us the fabric. And we will receive the hand dyed thread um, in um, February for it. And a membership card. <laughs> Next year you'll receive another sample of fabric and another logo. So anyways, it sounded really like a lot of fun. Something different. And I I, um, I love Isabel. She is she's very creative, but I we I had watched her um, s stitching this on Facebook. She'd post pictures and it's bird and I, you know birds. I love birds. So then I also and I've had this a couple of weeks. I got this from one two three. And it is the Miss Christmas Eve. This is Christmas glamour at its finest. And I also got the RST, the little little house. It works. Um, and this I have ordered from. Jardin Preve, and I've uh, she sent the PDF to me, and it's called the uh, the history of sheep, and I may have talked about this in my my final uh, in my last. Um, there I was looking for the picture of it all together, but. It's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Really cute. That's one part. All these parts fit together. There's the second part. And the third part. And the fourth part. Cute. Sheepies. So, um, anyway, put this up. So that's all my gab for for this. Um, Life is very good. The Lord is just... Oh, I can't even begin to... Sing His praises enough. It's just awesome. And... Um, I did turn 60 this week. And I'm sort of... In dismay at how quickly 60 years has gone by. My sister was teasing me that I'm 70, and I said, that's okay if I'm 70, you're 60. <laughs> and um, we did have a bit of um, really sad news. Um, you may have recalled me talking about Zoe, my sister's rescue dog. And she had 
osteocarcinoma, which is like cancer of the bone. And um, she had to be put to sleep this week. We were really praying for a miracle for that little girl. Um, it just wasn't in the cards. And those of us who are animal lovers, we know how hard it is to lose our babies. And um, my sister, <laughs> I have an amazing little sister. Zoe was uh, having a hard time getting down the stairs because they have a, quite a quite a long staircase. And Zoe started to fall because she had a cast on her one leg. And um, my sister went to uh, try to catch her. And both of them fell down the staircase. And Loie, Zoe landed on top of her. And my sister was in pain and Zoe was just in excruciating pain. We knew, I guess, for the past month we've known that we were going to lose her. But she was a special dog. She'd been out on her own for probably since she was like six weeks old. Anyway, life goes on and I know that my sister will fall in love with another dog. But Zoe was special. She was a good girl. So anyways, um, excuse me. Anyways, I guess I'll let you go. This is almost 30 minutes long. Um, I just want you to know how much I love all of you. And I get so busy stitching or I want to finish something so I have some progress to show you. I don't want to just make a video and not have some progress. So, anyways, I'm sure that there's something that I'm forgetting to tell y'all. But, oh well. It'll, it'll, um, sorry. But it will, um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope that your January is has been wonderful, like mine. And I hope that <clears throat> even if it's cold where you're at, I hope you're enjoying it. And um, there is sometimes, sometimes when things are difficult, it's a little harder to find the little miracles and the little joys. But they're there. And those things will sustain you, and those things will, um, to know that God is there. And because I see God through those little miracles and those joys. So, in 60 years, I can honestly say that this is, I have never been so at peace so filled with joy and happiness as I am today and I know that tomorrow it'll even be more so so on that note I want to wish all of you because I probably won't see you again or talk to you until February but I want you all to know that I love you that I pray for you every night every night and that I say I'll tell you Goodbye, and God bless.